Okay, what I want to do is show you how to use the new upgrade for editing your reports as well as editing your logo. So we're going to go into the settings and new to the settings feature is we've got a couple uh, new features that I want to uh, prompt as well too. If you look under the, the patient, we can obviously save every assessment directly to the camera roll. You always want to make sure the email on the account that you want to uh, carbon copy all of your, your emails that your staff does, put that on file. But here, we have the ability to put in a custom logo. So if that custom logo is not there, obviously the text will show up. And let me show you how to do this. All you do is, you're going to start up the app, you're not going to have your logo in there. You need to have that in your photo library. So you need to sync and move your photo of your, your logo of your office into your photo library. And that's basically iTunes 101 with the iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. And there's millions of tutorials on that. You could also show how to uh, obtain that with using the camera. But I already have my logo in there. So I'm going to go into the photo library. I'm going to scroll through because I know it's about up through here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click right there. So I've selected my logo for my clinic, and then I'm just going to expand it until it looks like it fits with the text. Okay? And then I hit save. And now can you see that it, it saved it exactly the way that I wanted? Okay? If I wanted to change the size, I could do the same thing. I can go back and find it in my photo. And if I wanted to change the size of it, I could change the size of it. And let's move it over here. Okay, and then you can see that it's uh, a little bit clearer. The next thing that we can do is once we set the logo, we can go into initial reports and we can edit the email subject. And all you do is tap in here and then you could type in anything that you want. So um, I'm going to say posture. Here is your posture analysis. Um, from, uh, I'm going to say, Dr. Ferrantelli. So now that's going to come up as my new email subject. And then the email body, it's always going to start off with their name, so we don't have to put that in there. But if you look in the email body, you can change any of this text. So put in what you want to. If you're a massage therapist, put in something about massage therapy and how that's going to relate in changing posture. Um, whatever you want to do. You can put links. I put a link to PostureCo. If I wanted to put in my, a link to my Facebook account, I could do so there. Um, you get three links per email. The introduction paragraph, That's this is going to show in the PDF document. This is in the middle of the, the PDF. And the footer, or the closing of the PDF. And to see what it looks like, all you do is hit Preview Sample. And you can see any of the text that we're going to change would show up here. So any of the text that we would change would show up here. Obviously, this is just a mock picture. But you would see, and so this, is, this paragraph here, that's customizable. Everything that you see except for this text box is customizable. Okay? The next thing that we can do is do the same thing for the comparison reports. So obviously, you have to have the comparison reports enabled as an upgrade. Once you do, you can go ahead and customize that as well too. So if I wanted to do anything, all you do is tap in here and then you get the keyboard and you can change the text as you see fit. Okay? And once you're done, you just go back to clinic information or go back to home and you're all done. So that is the new feature available in version 1.5 that is due out in July. Thank you.